well, the Dalston Eastern Cove Garden um, was created on an old disused railway line. It's full of all kinds of people, it's diverse, and anything can happen here really. People come here to enjoy the greenery and to get the space. It's really very much about um, space. You step in of Dalston Junction, which is a really busy road with traffic, with people, with building noise, with everything. And it's offered a very, very green space in an area where there was previously none. really want to come for the breathing space that this offers, the, the, the sanctuary, the, I know it's a cliche, but the oasis, surrounded by all the lovely trees. Why wouldn't you feel good about that? Certainly the phrases that people use again and again about the place are that it feels very safe and it feels very welcoming. So I think in terms of well-being, it's like a community well-being. Working together to nurture this space, that's the plants here, and as I say, all the things that have been made here, like furniture and so on. And then having that, for want of a better word, civic pride. It's, it's about making it ourselves and bringing you know, the best of ourselves to it and, and kind of working together. One of the most important functions of this space is, is around people getting together and, and the health that that brings to a community. And they've been coming here now for about a year and they come every week. In the summer they put on a performance in the garden. I think one of the number one things and that performance certainly showed it was it was completely open to anybody, it wasn't uh, hidden away or tucked away. And to do something expressive like music um, or drama in the wide open space of this garden is just really incredibly freeing and liberating. They are included then, they're not um, special or different. A lot of our design work is to do with, because we're landscape architects obviously, it's to do with working with nature and that was, that was our approach. And the contact with nature now, as the majority of the world's population live in cities, is only becoming more important. There's very little access to open space here, so we felt it was a very important location and had a, if we dealt with it, gently it could offer something that was actually quite unique in the area. In terms of the garden we wanted to have an open area which is down at the bottom and at the bottom you are nicely tucked away and then as you moved up the, the canopy, the tree density and canopy would increase so that then offers other opportunities. When you talk about health and well-being of very complex, diverse part of a city, um, you need to have those differences. You know, you can't have just big open spaces. And so to have those smaller, cosier sort of opportunities is, is really very important. And, and if, that, if you can combine that with planting, um, then I think uh, that fundamental contact with nature which gives you spiritual replenishment is so inherently part of our being and that connection in terms of health and well-being needs to be only stronger. The garden inspires a certain attitude of looking after and being careful and kids, you never see kids ripping up plants or anything, you know. And, and it's the same with, with everything. It's a whole attitude to do with being um, civil and caring. And if you feel you can contribute to a place and that you can make it your own through the, that doing rather than just looking, that is very, very powerful. I think the garden offers a kind of a comfort zone. It's sort of somewhere to feel that everything will be all right, that there's, there could be good things in among all the change. Um, 
and I think it, it's never been more important. Every neighbourhood should have a Dalston Eastern Curve garden. I mean, you know, say what's not to like. <laughs>